In this video, I'm going to continue with revision exercise 1 of equations, expressions, inequalities and identities. You will find this on page 39 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In the first video, we did number 1, 2 and 3. Now I want you to stop the video and do number 4, 5, 6 and 7. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number 4. Find the equation of the parabola which passes through the origin and, very important, and has turning point 2 and negative 8. Okay. I'm going to use this formula. Y is equal to A x minus B squared plus Q. Okay. And then I'm going to substitute the turning point. Now the turning point is, well it's the turning point, is 2 and negative 8. Okay. So then remember this is P, Q. So because I put the negative, I don't have to change the sign. So I can just say y is equal to a, and then x minus, but can you actually see the sign change from positive to negative? Square, and then just negative 8. Okay, and now I'm going to substitute origin or extra point. Extra point. And it's going through the origin, 0, 0, and that's to find the value of A. So if I substitute that, it's just going to be 0, A, 0 minus 2, squared minus 8. So 0 equals A, and that is going to be 4 minus 8. And that is going to be 4A is equal to 8. So I divide 4, I divide 4, so therefore the value of A is 2. Okay. And I can basically now go and substitute it back there. So I'm just going to say y is equal, oh let's just get the pen correct, y is equal to 2 and that's going to be my um, x minus 2 squared minus. Now I must simplify this a little bit. It's not just the bracket, so let's just simplify this. Now, I do the short way, so it's x squared, I multiply with each other, multiply 2. So it's negative 4x plus 4 minus 8. And that's going to be 2x squared minus 8x plus 8 minus 8. And that's going to be 2x squared minus 8x, because that 2 cancel. And that, so therefore, I can end by just saying therefore, it's just good to bring that y again down. y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x. And that's the equation of the parable. Okay, that was number 4. Now we can go to number 5. Make it a bit lower. Again, okay, here. Yeah. And now we're just going to do number 5. Number 5. Find the equation of the cubic graph now. So it cuts there, if you cannot see, it cuts at negative 3, and it cuts at 2 over 3. And it, there is the point also, at 0 and 6. That's all the points I can see. Now, I just before I start, I just want to show you, if, if I'm going to use this formula, I'm going to say y is equal to a, and then it's one bracket, and it's another bracket, and because it's a turning point, I will square it. Now, this one is actually x minus, and that negative 3. i just show you. Now, I want to show you in this one. Say, for example, it's, it's like we take the free x. I just want to show you that it's like. Say, for example, it's like this. And you go and you put it equal to 0, and you want to find that root. Then, so I'm just basically doing the reverse. Then you're going to get 3x equals 2. So I divide 3, I divide 3, and x is equal to 2 over 3, which I see there. But I, I write it like that. So basically, just take that denominator and put it in with the x. Okay, so it's going to be 3x 
and then I subtract the two and then the square. Okay, and now I can simplify it further before I put them. It's not necessary, it could have already done. I just want to show you why it's becoming there. Okay, now I'm going to substitute the extra point. Substitute um, 0, 6. Remember, this is x, and oh, just that pen, pen, pen. Just wanted to put a point. X, Y. So in the place of Y, I'm going to put now a 6. It's just to find A. In the place of X, I put a 0. And that 6 is equal to A, and that's 3, and that is going to be negative 2 squared. And that 6 is equal to, this is going to be 4 times, so it's going to be 12a. So I divide 12, I divide 12, and I, so therefore, a is equal to a half. Okay, and now I can basically, now because it's, it's now actually just the brackets, I can just say therefore, and I, I'm going to substitute it in there now, y is equal to a half x plus 3, it's almost like it's in factorized form, and 3x minus 2, I don't have to multiply that out. So that is going to be my final answer, and that's how we do that one. Okay. Let's go to number 6. I'm just going to make space again. Okay, number 6. Okay. And move a little bit down. Okay. Find the value of ABC for which this is a identity. So it's actually very, very, very easy one also. So it's X plus A. 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 and then 1, 2, 3 and then it's 2x to the power of 3 plus bx squared minus 2x plus c. Okay, just going to move, it's quite a long sum. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to multiply out. It's like this sides are the same and I can compare it but it's in different forms now. So let's just go and say this is 2x to the power of 3. This is negative 3x squared. This is 4x. This is 2ax squared. This is negative 3ax plus 4a. And, okay, I'm first going to keep, just simplify this. Let's just make it the left-hand side. I'm not going to rewrite every time. So then, I'm just going to, to um, okay, so just get my, that one is on its own, actually. So it's 2x3, that pen again. Okay, there's the negative 3 and there. But let's start with the positive one. So we take x squared out as a common factor. So it's 2a minus 3, and there is your x squared. Okay. And then the same here, if you make it, otherwise you must bring the negative inside and say negative 3a. But I think the best is first to write the positive one. So 4 minus 3a, and that's x, and there is my constant. Okay. Now, if you compare it to the right-hand side, so the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, you can now go and say, okay, that is 2, that is 2. We have that. That B is going to be equal to this. So B is equal to 2A minus 3. That negative 2 is equal to this in front of, not the x, a little bit shorter. Okay, so negative 2 equals 4 minus 3a. And then the last one, uh, 4a is c. So 4a is equal to c. Okay, now there is two unknowns. Oh, excellent, there is only one. So I always start with the one with just one. Otherwise, I can go for simultaneous equations. So then this is going to be 3a, and this is going to be uh, 4 plus 2. So 3a 
is going to be 6. I divide 3, I divide 3. So therefore, A, I can even make, I want to make it in red. Okay, so therefore, A is equal to 2. This is will be. Okay, now I can substitute. So in the place of A, I substitute the 2. And then it's 4 minus 3. So the value of B will be equal to 1. So let's go again. So therefore, B is equal to 1. And then the next one, I just go 4. And what is A? 2 is equal to C. So therefore, C is equal to 8. And that's how you do it. Very, very easy. Okay. And then... I'm going to go for the final one. Final, final one. A nice feeling. Okay. Okay. This is number seven. Now, if you look at number seven, I'm first going to write, just be careful if you see roots. It's almost like if you see locks or you see an X in the denominator. You have to be careful. You have to do tests. Okay. But let's start. Solve the equation. And that's going to be 3A minus 11 a minus 4 equals 0. Okay. Now, I prefer rather, I think you're going to see the quadratic or the double if I put that to a half. Then you're going to say, oh, 1, uh, uh, double a half is 1. Okay, I see it's a quadratic in this case. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to say it's in group B, so I'm going to quickly factorize, so can be 1 and 4 and 4 and 1 and it can be 3 and 1. So this is 12 minus 1 because it's in group B. And the biggest over cross product, do you see the biggest over cross? It's a negative. And if that one's a negative, the other one gets a positive. And then I take the middle. So it's A to a half. A to a half. So basically it's 3a to a half plus 1 and a to a half minus 4 and that is equal to 0. Okay. If I simplify, and I'm going to show you but you must remember to test. If I put this equals to negative um, 1. Okay. Um, let's just finish this one. So it's a half it's negative a third. Now, already, they must, they, they must ring a little bit of bells, but it's fine. I can still get two, and I can still, so I can, get, it's an option, it's not to say it's going to work, and that option is going to be one over now. Okay. Or, it's A to a half, and that's four, and that's A, and if I multiply it two over one, uh, 2 over 1, then A, and 4 times 4, that is going to be 60. I said, if you see roots, if you see logs, you have to test. So let's do a check. Let's do a check for both. So, and, and you have to go to the original. So go 3, and then put um, 1 over 9. Minus 11, 1 over 9. Minus 4. And the sides must, usually with roots, you must just get that the sides are equal. Okay. It's actually with absolute value we also have to test. It's another one testing. So if it's 3 over 9 minus 11, and that's 1 over 3 minus 4. Okay. Let's see if it's equal to 0. Okay. So if I press, it's just, okay, I'm just going to, uh, so minus 11, A, B, C, 3, minus 4 equals... I'm getting negative 7 and a third. And that is not equal to 0. So, okay, let's do the other check. Let's first do the other check. Okay, now we do exactly the same, but now we put the 16. So, 3, 16, minus, uh, okay, <laughs> I'm just looking for my equation. Yes. I'll go on this one. I'm just, it's too high. So minus 11, 16. Minus 4. Let's see if it's equal to 0. So if I go 3 times 16, that is 48. And I go 4, so it's going to be 44. Minus that 4, and that's 0. Oh, excellent. 
and zero is equal to zero, meaning, uh uh, not working, working. And you have to say, therefore, uh, so you can even say reject there. Uh, the only solution is A is equal to 16. Um, it's always to say, if you, if you, if you get the positive, uh, if a square root of A always implies the positive root. Okay, it's also to do with that. But the check will always make it clear. And just remember that you end by saying that is the only solution. What are you doing?